going on guys it's lady b we've had an incredible week of sneak peeks plus this monday we got to see the update live i want to know what you guys think but we are also coming up on the end of the month it's uh march 31st and that means we have a new gold pass challenge coming which also means we have a new skin so stay tuned as we take a look into the new April skin for the heroes. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you know when these updates go live, you get some sneak peeks. Plus, I will be bringing you some more strategy guides to come this week for Town Hall 11, 12, and 13. So let's get into it and see what April's going to bring us. updates live it's heading into the beginning of the month which means we have the new gold pass challenge to come so our new skin for april for the april gold pass challenge is going to be for the grand warden and this one's really cool but before i show you what we're getting into we do have uh, a nice little update here for the creator code now there is a link in my description if you take a look if you want to help support creators we have our own links now you don't just have to go in game to do it you can click on the link and it'll bring you right in just like the invitation or just like the quick links for bases. So this is a really, really cool feature. Make sure to check that link below uh, and use code LADYB if you're getting these gold passes. But let's take a look into the Grand Warden. We're gonna change the skin here. And again, we have this as a new feature, part of the update and quality of life changes. It's a really cool 3D view of your hero and it does change for the skin that you put them on. So you can see here we have our regular Warden. We have our Party Warden. We have the Primal Warden, and now officially for April, we have the Clockwork Warden. So the Clockwork Warden, I love the play on name here, uh, but he looks very reminiscent of the Clock Tower. And as we spin him around, you can see he's got a little wind-up gear that keeps him going, powered up, and he's got a mean looking Tesla stick there. Uh, I'm a little bit worried about how he's gonna roast some troops with it. So uh, let's select him, get that skin going. We see him here bouncing around, super excited, ready to go. And let's see how he looks in gameplay with a Town Hall 13 Super Queen Charge Hybrid. So we're gonna take a look at the Grand Warden in play with a Queen Charge, I'm sorry, Super Queen Charge hybrid here. I did happen to bring in super wall breakers for this particular raid um, just to go with the charge. I wanted to try out the new super wall breakers a little bit more. You saw the queen charge Lalo that I did with them. I wanted to see it with ground as well um, and, and see how well I can do with these super troops. And again, this one picked up a triple coming through. Um, we'll get to see the Grand Warden momentarily, but first this Queen Charge needs to work in. And those super wall breakers just do incredible work. Look at this, look at them go. Look at them go past those scatter shots, the Eagle, the impact of the splash damage from the Wizard Tower. They're just taking on a lot of heat here. So I get the Queen in, have to force the ability, but she took on a lot of damage with that charge. But we look through. We've got the king set in place, which means we're going to get the miners set, the hybrid portion, miners hog set, once that siege barracks goes down. So that's going to help my funnel leading up to the town hall. I did lose out my king because of the gigabomb explosion, but I was able to get the hogs from the siege barracks safely through. But here we go. We've got the Grand Warden coming in action. Hybrid is setting in place, and we have the Clockwork Warden coming in. See how I did it getting that ability over everything. I got some of it. Got some of it. I think I still need to work on the timing of getting my warden down and in with all the troops, but still got them through. And we get to see what the warden looks like in play, but no um, no real special sound effects or anything from him. It's not like we're seeing like the party warden, but he does look really cool. I actually kind of like this setup. Looks very reminiscent of what he already looks like, but you just have that little wind up um, button on the back of him as he goes along and the Tesla shot from his staff. So I'll leave this available for a quick replay through if you wanna take a look at the hybrid portion of this at the end of the video. And, um, and let me know your thoughts. I'm curious to know what you think about the new Warden skin to come for April. Uh, I think it's pretty cool. I know I'm gonna gear this one up for my accounts, but let me know what you think. <laughs> 
Don't forget to get those creator codes in when you're purchasing your gold passes. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you wanna see more of these updates, sneak peeks, and more strategy guides to come. I have a few more strategy guides dropping this week. It's been busy with the updates, but I promise you'll be seeing some Town Hall 11, Town Hall 12, and Town Hall 13. Plus, I'm gonna show how to use these super troops even more with more of these triples. If you stay tuned to the end of the video, you're gonna see that replay again with the Super Queen Charge Hybrid to so take a look and see it in action. Until next time, this is Lady B. I'll catch you guys later. Oh